Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Fallout Friday and Fallout 4 Rebuild the Colonies. Where you join me here at Abernathy Farm. Abernathy Farm. Yes, let's uh, let's quickly touch upon the, uh, the disaster that was last episode, shall we, first and foremost. So... This is the first episode I've recorded uh, since episode two went live and all of the fantastic, wonderful feedback I got on that episode, that episode absolutely exploded. It became my most watched video on this channel. Not that there's that many videos on this channel, but that by far became my most watched video uh, recently uh, and got a uh, load of new subscribers from that video and all of the fantastic, really supportive, wonderful messages from a lot of you new guys. So thank you very much for that. That I really appreciated that. After recording last week's episode, I um, had a bit of a crisis of confidence. I wasn't feeling great after that episode and I started thinking, why would anyone want to watch me play? Why would anyone want to watch this rubbish? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not teaching anyone any new things that they don't know how to do. In fact, I'm probably the worst person to teach people how to play the game because I don't know what I'm doing. So let me, I need to remind not just you, but also myself that this is not a gaming channel like most other gaming channels i am not a gamer i'm not great at gaming i'm not the person you watch for tips and tricks min maxing anything like that the whole point of this channel is about a nearly 40 year old man's journey back into gaming that's the whole point of this channel the whole point of this channel is i used to game all the time when i was younger when in my teenage years, my early 20s, all I did was game. I loved gaming. Always on the forefront of technology. Always got the newest stuff. Always playing the newest games. I was right on the forefront. And then life happened. And I mean, I don't need to go all over it again. Watch the introduction video to this channel. The very first video published on this channel will explain to you exactly all of this. But I need to remind myself about that sometimes. Because... This whole channel is about you joining me on my rediscovery of games. And with regards to Fallout 4, I think I've played this game four times. Four playthroughs with different factions each time. This is probably the fifth time I've ever played through this game. Not the fifth time I've ever played it, obviously, because each playthrough took me months. But... This is probably the fifth playthrough of this game. So I don't know everything. I am going to make mistakes. There are not going to be things that I know instantaneously. There are things that I'm probably going to discover as we go along in this. And this channel is all about cool ideas that I had. Like how I used to play games when I was younger. And watching other people play games here on YouTube. And thinking... That's really cool. Oh, do you know what you could do? You could do this, and that would be awesome. And that's where this playthrough comes in, for instance. It was an idea I had that just popped into my head watching some of the Let's Builds. You know, I've mentioned them before. Uh, Oxhorn, No Respawns, The School Zone. I was watching all of them and thought, wow, they're really good at building. This is really cool. I really like the idea of building properly. And then the idea came to actually make a gameplay out of that. How could you actually turn that into playing a game? My autistic brain <laughs> kicked into uh, overdrive and started thinking about all of these really cool ideas and really cool ways that you could do things. And that is what this playthrough is all about. And if you like that, and it seems that a lot of you did like that from episode two, then please welcome aboard, come along with me on this journey, it's going to be really cool. If if you don't like that and you would rather watch someone who is very good at the game, totally understand that, 100%, but you're not going to get that from me. That is not who I am. This channel is all about an old fart 
trying to rediscover his love for gaming again and squeezing it in to the small little bits of time that I can eke out here and there with all of the stupid necessities of life and trying to just eke out a little corner for myself somewhere where I can do the things that I used to love doing when I was younger. That's what this channel is all about. And like I said, it's about experimenting with weird ideas and weird playthroughs that you might not have thought of. Maybe you have thought of it. Maybe you've done it as well, in which case, fantastic. Give me some ideas. Let me know. I had loads of feedback from other people, which I've really appreciated. And keep, keep bringing it along. I really do appreciate that. The only thing I would ask is, you know, just be polite. You know, I am a human being. I'm a real person, you know. No one has said anything negative so far, which thank you very much for that. I really appreciate that. And and I, I, like I said, I really appreciate all the support. Anyway, I'm rambling. That was the, the I, I wanted to get that out of the way because like I said, this is the first video I've recorded since part two went up live. Part three, I recorded straight back to back after part two. And yeah, I really wasn't pleased with it. I felt really crap. I felt down. I felt utterly pointless. And then all of the great feedback I got from you guys on part two made me think, okay, well, let's keep the series going and let's see if people still love it. And they love the idea as much as I do because maybe it's a good idea. Who knows? But anyway, with that being said, what I do want to quickly point out, one other thing, sorry, I did get some feedback uh, about the video looking squished and the ratios looking off. Yeah, I play on an ultra widescreen monitor and I had ultra widescreen settings on and the recording software uh, rescaling and everything like that. It kind of messed it all up and it made it look a little bit squished and I apologize for that. I think I fixed it now. I, I am playing uh, not on full screen monitor now, so it should be back in. Uh, anyway, it should be fine now. Please do let me know. Um, uh, Green Joe, one, two, three, four, five. You were the first one to point it out to me. So if it's good for you, please do let me know if it looks better or not now. Hopefully it should do. Right now, onto this show, onto this episode. Yes, I am here at Abernathy Farm. We got the locket. We got Abernathy under our belts now i love abernathy farm i think it's a great settlement because it is huge like the area that you get is very very big it's a very 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 large area which is great because that gives you lots of room to do some cool stuff it's it's narrow but you can work with that it's cool the one thing i love about it and that i also hate about it as well is that it also has the highest building uh, range in the game. And I love that because you can build really high and like skyscraper-esque. But I wish that they'd done that actually in the city of Boston itself, actually in the heart of Boston. I would have loved that because then you could go into Boston and you could build like massive skyscraper in the middle of the city and... That would be amazing. I would have loved that. If you could have got the same height that you can here in Boston, that would have been great. Because here, you don't really want to build a skyscraper because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. It's got no roads coming into it or anything like that. So realistically, building realistically thinking, it would make no sense to have a massive, huge skyscraper you know, apartment block or something here. It just makes no sense. I mean, you could have a few apartment blocks which I, I suppose would be a good idea but to me because of this location because of what it is already because of what it's called and the massive amounts of plain ground that you get I think it only makes sense to turn this into a farm it doesn't really make any other sense other than to have this as a farm a farming settlement so this is going to be our first major farming settlement but if you look up in the top left up there, you will see that there are only three people. So it doesn't quite meet our criteria to start massively building yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around. We're going to scrap a load of stuff that we don't really need. And uh, we're going to get some simple little uh, junk walls up. Just like I said, um, we're probably going to, at the moment, eliminate the space at the back. 
I don't think I'm gonna have the room at the back. I think the junk fence is just gonna basically go where the wire fence is and then cut into the, the building, the house somewhere at the moment here. I think that that makes sense because yeah, we, we don't have the people to cover the area at the moment and I don't really wanna take all of this down right now until we get to the point where we're gonna start thinking about how we actually want to properly build it. So for the time being, what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably keep the food area, even though it does give you a lot of food, which means that you need more defense and yeah, I don't know. We might cut the food down a little bit for the time being, maybe cut it from there up to the edge of the building here or something, just build the junk walls into the building and this can be a defensive structure as it is as well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm definitely gonna cut out the back because we definitely don't want that for the time being. We don't, we don't need all of this space at the back right now and we don't need all of the space at the front either. So we're not gonna go all the way down to there right yet. We're probably just gonna go along the fence line, probably up to about here, I reckon, and then build into the corner over there. Uh, and that's how we're going to start. Uh, another reason why I love this settlement, this settlement is one of the best, is because it comes with a cat. What more needs to be said, really. <laughs> I like the way I'm uh, building all of this. <laughs> and he's looking at me like, what the bloody hell are you doing? <laughs> it's like you've ruined it you've ruined our beautiful house why did I ever invite you in <laughs> look, at look at him looking at me like <laughs> what the bloody hell are you up to both of them now it's just like we did not sign up for this what the bloody hell <laughs> and here we go so settlement is under 10, so we've just gone for the junk walls again. Uh, I've made a perimeter, uh, basically replacing where the fence was. So the Brahmin station is just behind this wall here. It goes all the way to the back here and then cuts into the actual house just after the silo things. So because the house can provide defensive structure of its own um, in my head you know I mean in the game as well it, it can because um, you know not everyone has penetrated us you can't really shoot through the walls uh, these are just here for a little bit of extra security rating um, needed to put them in just to get the security numbers up didn't want to take anyone else off of food I took one person off of food so but also in in my head they kind of defend the back wall of the house a little bit here uh left all of this as it was and the wall just cuts into the house again here a little gap here but yeah that's okay i'm i'm okay with that uh got rid of some of the plants because yeah we don't need that much food at the moment this isn't tied into the network so it's not providing food for anywhere else and there's not enough people here that it warrants needing more food right now plus that means it can cut down on the security a little as well so yeah just et into a little bit of the space there but um it's fine it'll grow it'll grow back and we can put the crops back there if we so choose uh, and we go inside. Where is the gate? There we are. We go inside. So as you can see, damn raiders! There's nothing they won't try to take from you. No, I know, but that's why I put this fence up for you. So hopefully you'll be a little bit safer now. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, just cut down on the amount of plants that are here. I've uh, removed the melons at the back, so there's there's no melons here. So, but they have enough food at the moment, and we have a a guard standing duty here as you can see so if we go into the workshop we should see everything is as it needs to be at the moment so everything's doing good everything's doing well happiness should start rising but like i said we're under uh, 10 people so it doesn't need to be huge but there you go we have started abernathy farm as well so another oh there's a big gap under there i just realized that can you uh drop down a little bit 
without giving too much of a gap. There, that looks good. There we go, there's no gap under there now. A bit of a gap under there though. Sink that down a little bit more. There, no gap underneath now. Need to tidy that up a little bit. That's uh, a little bit finickety. Come on, slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh, yeah, we've got a bit skew with here, haven't we? Yeah, okay, maybe not. Uh, Okay, that'll do. It's good enough. Um, yeah, so as, I, as you can see, just cut down the size of things, gave them a new entrance because eventually the entrance is probably going to go down here, I imagine. Nice open area. But um, things might change a little bit in the setup and everything of this area as and when time comes for it. But we'll, uh, we'll explain that a little bit more when we get to it. So, yeah. We are all set up here, everything's good, everything's fine, everyone's happy here. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to head down to Corvega and get that mission done so we can go back and get Ten Pines Bluff as well after that. So I'm going to make my way down to there now. That will be our next objective. Tell you what we are going to do while we're in the area, I think. I think we're going to... Head down to Trashcan Carla and the Dumlin Dry uh, Drumlin Diner. There we go. Uh, whilst we're in the area, we might as well. Um, do need to get her moving around and some more traders onto the map as well. So that's what we're going to do while we're in this area. Now I do know that there is a random spawn around here. So just want to be careful. It's nothing too dangerous. Can be ghouls. Have had it be a rad scorpion before. So think we're safe yeah nothing's gonna spawn too close to her is it so uh, okay so let's go talk to trash can Carla yeah <clears throat> so what's your story looking to trade rob me or just ask directions to Diamond City now um, I thought that there was an option to flirt with her or does that come afterwards uh, yeah I'm just here to trade I thought there was an option to flirt with her because that usually gives her better prices. Carla, need to pick something up? Road's pretty long from here. Yeah, no, that's it. H hello. What, why are you getting so aggressive? Um, yeah, no, usually there's an option to flirt with her. And that gives you cheaper prices. Why? Maybe I'm not. But I've got high enough charisma that I should be allowed to do. But. Huh. Could have sworn that there was an option to flirt with her. And then you get better prices. Uh oh. Hello. Told you there was a. Uh, uh, random spawn here didn't I? Carla help me. Help. 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 Because Carla's pretty strong. Carla can handle everything. Are we good? Yeah. Is that everything? Yeah. See, I told you there was a random spawn here. Just caught me off guard, that did. But still, gives me some stuff at least. Uh, it's only meat, which isn't really massively important, but all goes towards the realism of the run eventually. Okay, hopefully. Oh, we've got some rad stags as well. Bloody hell, everything's uh, 
Everything's uh, spawning in. Right, there's one. Don't think I'm going to be able to hit you, am I? Nah, you're too far away now. Uh, okay, that's more meat and leather and everything, so that's fine. No, nothing else around. We're, we're, we're okay, we're good. Might be able to catch up with that Radstag again. Moving around here. But I have a feeling we're going to be pulled into the Drumlin Diner. Yeah. Hand over the good. I ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything. Do you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Now I've got pretty good charisma. So I reckon I should be able to talk him down. Hopefully, because my charisma is very, very high. Oh, that's one other thing. I don't know what when it happened, but I took my wedding ring off for some reason, which is stupid because that gives me one extra point in charisma. So I don't know when that happened, but yeah, we have that now. Yeah, I reckon I should be able to talk you down. Whoa, easy there, scammer. This doesn't involve you. You stop waving that gun in my face. Or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take yeah, it easy. Yeah, that's fault. We'll lower our weapons, alright? Just don't do anything crazy. Yeah, we should be good. Uh, I could probably even pass this, but let's have a look. Now hand over your money. All of it. Just keep calm, alright? Here. Because I got, I got really good charisma, so... Um, let's see if I can... This one might be tough, but let's give it a go. Now get the hell out of here. Both of you. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Fine. We'll leave. Just my goddamn luck. Awesome. Nice and easy. Nice and simple. Got some money out of it. All good. And nobody had to die. There we go. Hello. Now you should give me better deals now, right? You made that scumbag turn tail and run. Here, this is for you. Now, you ever need to trade? My shop's open. Now, you're going to give me um, better deals now because I've done that. So, and yeah, no one had to die. It's all good. So, that's another trader that we've opened up. And um, we're, um, we're all good for the time being. So, yeah. Let us move along and continue on with our journey. That Radstag didn't come back, did it? No, no idea where that went. Uh, but yeah, let's carry on with our journey then. Okay, so here we are at Corvega. Now I'm going to head up top first see if I can pick some guys off from up high because I know that they don't usually come around here to get you if they do detect you but I should hopefully be able to pick some off from back here like you nope apparently can't do anything with you at all right he's down and this way it also gives me coverage as well gives me protection which is good now I must be well actually I think my um uh, agility is really crap, isn't it, actually? Because I um, had to dump somewhere. And I think I dumped there. Well, yeah. These, everyone can see me very easily, apparently. I'm uh, super detectable, apparently. So, 
That's handy. Good to know <laughs> that I'm uh, very, very, very easily detectable. Which uh, sucks a little, but... Yeah, so I'm going to try and pick some off from out here first before I head down. Now, they got a long way to go if they want to come and get me, so I'm not too concerned by that. It's the ones up high I want to try and pick off. They're the ones that I want to try and get rid of first. I want to try and get rid of the ones up high and then I can go down guns blazing with the with the ones down low. So hopefully that won't take too long. But uh, yeah, I, I'm i sure you've all seen this a million times before. So I will get rid of this and I will meet you just uh, on the inside. Okay, I think I'm... Good, I can't see anyone else. Now, there are more, obviously, but I can't see any from this vantage point. Which I assume means that there's no one who's going to be able to see me go in now. Oh, someone was very close to seeing me there. Where? I cannot see them at all. They're very close to seeing me, but I can't see where from. Wait, is that someone down there? No, it's just a shadow. Uh, no, I think I'm good. So I'm going to make my way down to the front door. Okay, and inside... We are. Now, I'm not going to make too much of an effort to um, loot at the moment. I'm going to clear the area what the fuck and then there now. What do you think? loot, come back and loot the area once it's clear. So that's, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing at the moment. I'm going to take my time to try and clear the area out completely as best as I can. And then I'm going to come back at a later date and loot like I'm doing with everything else. So there are loads of places on my list at the moment that I need to clean up and loot and strip mine. But I'm going to do that after I've cleared the area so yeah so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna go through we're gonna clear the area we're gonna complete the objective and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna strip mine it at a later date I think what I am gonna do though is I'm gonna loot the raiders that I kill as I go along because I know that they're probably likely to despawn so I'm gonna I'm gonna take them out uh, as I go along I'm gonna take them out and I'm gonna um, loot them as I go along that's the only exception I'm gonna make I think so uh, stealthy tactics have basically gone out of the window I'm uh, basically just going in guns blazing. I don't have any silenced weapons, so I couldn't really do this stealthy, unfortunately. I, I had to do it all guns blazing. As soon as I shot the first people, everyone woke up, so uh, then they stormed the room, and uh, yeah, basically I was uh, screwed after that. All, all, all sense of uh, tactics and Stealth and silence kind of went out of the window after that. It was just, uh, just having to blow them all away. Yes, so it's, uh, 
It was uh, a little bit annoying, but never mind. Why am I not hitting that? Yeah, so basically it's a lot of that. Uh, but again, not really bothered. This isn't a stealth run or survival run or anything like that. It's literally just for the sake of building. So I'm not too concerned about stealth. So it's more just about trying not to die too frequently so I can keep my uh, health supplies but that's that's basically it that's uh that's basically all we're trying to do in this run so yeah not too uh not too concerned about the uh, the gung ho guns blazing approach it is what it is that protector on did basically nothing and these people instantly knew i was here this has not gone well at all yeah that uh that protector on did naffle and now i'm in danger well that hasn't gone well at all is it Let's see if i can Pick Jared off from back here. Ah, damn, he moved. Might be out of game. Okay, let's get rid of you. I might be able to just pick him off from back here, you know? I don't know if I'm hitting him. I don't think I have the ra Oh, I do have the range on this gun. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, the problem is, is once I take these guys down right that's jared down now i could leave but i want to try and clear this place out because i want to make sure that i can come back here now and i don't know if it's the case of if you um just kill the main guy then the place will be cleared for you or do you have to clean it all out. I've never actually tested whether if I leave now the place would be deemed as cleared or if I have to kill everyone here in order for it to actually be clear, you know? I um I don't know what the case is I've never how is that not a hit I've never actually uh, tried it you know and I know that the reinforcements are gonna come in in a minute right there um, when you head up they they the reinforcements arrive I don't know what point actually triggers that now I am happy to carry on going and clear the place out. But again, I know that the reinforcements are going to come. But for my own benefit, I'm happy to just kind of absolutely clear this place uh, of everyone and just make sure that it is completely empty so that I can come back here again and strip mine now the problem is is i also don't know how long it takes for places to respawn because i know that they're going to respawn eventually and i'm not playing on survival which means that the respawn rates are a lot more frequent Okay, that gun's done. Um, but I don't know how frequent they are. Uh, 
And what triggers the uh, reinforcements to arrive? Is it going up there? I'm assuming it's going up there, right? But I am not too worried about the reinforcements. That's fine. Like I said, I'm happy to clear this place out. Plus, every enemy killed is more stuff for me and stuff is very very important in this run i want all of the stuff all of the things i want everything now if i do that again they shouldn't be able to follow me up right you'll you'll do i just want to dump all my stuff in you there's the reinforcement so i think it's uh it's looting jared is uh what triggers the reinforcements now? Is that it? Only two? Well, there was more than that. Apparently, there was only two. I always thought that there were more reinforcements than that. It always felt like there were more when uh, when I've played previously. Anyway, but uh, okay. Well, there you go. Apparently, they're all done. I have a feeling that there is a. Uh, someone else in here though because uh yes their hidden is still twitching which makes me think that there are still people in here so don't want to let our guard down just yet but getting pretty close to having this place completely empty. Yeah, I can't see anyone, but you can see that the uh, someone is close to detecting me, but there's no one in here. And I'm sure that it's not the people on the roof, because that's a completely different load zone. And I have cleared out down here. I'm sure I've cleaned everyone out. But someone is very close to... And now it's less. So yeah, there's definitely something in here. I just... don't know where. Is There's not another turret, is there? Surely it would have got me by now if there was another turret. But yeah, something is very close to detecting me. But not so much there. I don't know. I've taken out both turrets. There isn't another turret. I'm sure there's not. Is there another light? I don't know. I don't know what's nearly detecting me. As far as I know, that this is a uh, this place is empty now in here. As far as I'm aware. But I'm going to go back downstairs anyway. Even though it seems like... Unless they're like directly below me. Maybe. Maybe they're just like directly below me. But we'll... Uh, we'll see... Once we get downstairs I guess. So I'm getting closer. Ah, uh, it's this bit. Oh yeah. So I haven't cleared this bit out yet right okay now I don't have the greatest sneak so I don't think I can sneak up on anyone but if I can drop a molotov on them 
be very handy. Because there's a few down there. Ah, getting shook up over nothing. Well, I don't think they're going to come out, are they? Caution again. Get a grip on yourself. I think they're just gonna stay inside here, aren't they? Good if I could, like I said, drop a Molotov on them. But I don't think they're going to come out of here, are they? Should now be it, right? Yeah, now we're clear. Okay, so inside is completely clear now. We're all done on that front. Uh, just need to clear the roof and the outside up. Um, and then we should be good. Uh, this place should be cleared and we should be able to add it to the list of places that we can come back to and uh, strip mine at some point. So I think... Yeah, like I said, I think I'm pretty sure we are all good. So I am now just going to try and head up to the roof clear the roof out and then once I have cleared the roof out just need to um, double check around the outskirts to make sure there's no one else wandering around and once we've done that everywhere should be clear there are a lot of people still out here uh, it's still very very occupied and busy I didn't pick off anywhere near as many people outside as I thought I did but uh yeah it's very 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 busy so are you gonna come through here so yeah still a lot to do here unfortunately but again like I said I'm not sh I don't know whether now Jared's dead if I was to just um leave would would this area automatically clear itself? I don't know that. But again, what I want to do is I want to try and take them all out anyway. Because I want to try and take all of their stuff. And if they just despawn and disappear from the world, then that's a lot of stuff that I lose. Whereas if I take them all out this way and clear them all out, then I get a lot of stuff. That's a very big explosion. I'm guessing there was a car down there. Right, you're on this level, which means you're going to come through here. Provided that you don't give up. Thinking it was just the wind. Almost. You coming? You coming? No? There we go. Everyone else is downstairs now. But I know that they've got grenades. So I don't really want to go charging full pelt into them. Because those are going to hurt. But yeah, we've uh, thinned the numbers out a little bit. And that's a lot of free stuff I've got. So, right, there's someone behind me up there as well. Right, okay. So yeah, a lot of free stuff. We're gonna loot these guys. We're gonna we're gonna make out like bandits. That's a lot of stuff to take back to our settlement as well, which is good. Okay, 
Core Vega is done. I have done the roof. I have done all of the outskirts. I have done everywhere. I have killed everything inside there and out. Now, the only thing I didn't do is actually go down into the tunnel that takes you in through the back. Now, I, I went into that section inside and killed the feral ghouls and the uh, turret and everything down there, but I didn't actually go into the tunnel section because I don't need to. It's fine. It's not a problem. But that is Core Vega all done. So the right quest for the right mission is all done now and dusted everything is good everything is fine everything is sorted everything is done so we are going to make our way back over to ten pines bluff and we are going to get this mission actually finally finished and sorted thank goodness for that now, one thing I would say is, obviously, like I said, A, I didn't strip mine the place, so we, we need to come back and do that at some point. Uh, but I also left a lot of stuff there. Um, I was over-encumbered quite a few times. So there are uh, lockers and storage bins and everything like that that are uh, have got a lot of stuff within them. So there is a lot of stuff there that we can come back for as well. So we will be returning to Corvega, uh, but not just for the time being. I uh, need to start going back to some of these places that I said I was going to strip mine before things start to respawn. So I need to grab my power armor and go on a little jaunt back to a few of these places. So the first place we want to go to is Concord because we cleared that out a little while ago and uh, want to get back there before it respawns. What am I? Uh... Oh, bloat fly. If you leave me alone, I'll leave you alone. I'm not too bothered by you. If you just ignore me, I'll just ignore you. Uh, right, now we're not going to go through Starlight Driving because I don't want to activate the mole rats yet. So we're going to go the long way around. Uh, we will be coming back here, obviously, to claim this at some point. I'm guessing Preston is going to give me the mission for that. So we'll wait until we get that as a mission so we can get some XP for it as well. Um, so we'll wait for that. But also with regards to building at this place... Uh, we're not going to be doing that for quite a while yet. Uh, let's just say I've got a... I've got a special plan for uh, what's going to go in here, but uh, we are we are a long way off of that yet, so we uh, we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, so like I was saying, with strip mining, we need to um, we need to head back to Concord before things respawn there. Need to hit Corvega now as well, um, and I still need to go back to. Uh, I, I hate blowflies because they're. Really hard to hit. And they're just unnecessary annoyances. Oh, and is that rad roaches as well? Oh, okay, great. Why not? Might as well, right? Are we done with the insects? I think we're done. Okay, good. Um, yeah, there's no rush to get back to 111, obviously, because it's um, it's always going to be safe. There's there's nothing that I need to uh, 
worry about respawning in there. So there's no mad rush to to get back to Vault 111. But uh, I definitely do want to get back to Concord before things respawn. And I want to get back to Corvega now as well. Because I left a lot of stuff there. And I didn't even touch the place as well. So there is a... Uh, there is a lot to be had in there as well. So, yeah, what we need to do is we need to go back with uh, our power armor at some point. Because that will obviously give me the carry weight. Uh, where else do I need to go as well? Now... I think that you guys are going to be all right. You're... I don't think you're here. You detected me. That should take care of you. Just take that medicine. Ah, Doc Anderson. Okay, fair enough. A week or so. Sure thing, Doc. Thanks. Goodbye. Now, I don't need to actually talk to Doc hey at all. The doc's the best, isn't she? Uh, no, no, no! Don't go! To, don't go to sleep. It's the middle of the day. What are you doing? Wake up! Not many doctors Wake up! These days. Should let me take a look at you. Uh, I mean, I'm okay, but I might supplies, see if I can spare. buy anything off of you while we're here. Uh, I have six hundred and eight, so uh, should be all right. Obviously, not a whole shipment. But everything else should be fine, yeah. Take your ammo as well. Um, everything else here I'm not really too concerned about. Uh, don't really need any of that. But while I'm passing, I might as well grab the, the junk. So, yeah, that's okay. Uh, now, there's no rules against me. Oh, it's not stealing anyway. Okay, fair enough. Um, handy little interaction there. Okay, that's good. Let's uh, continue on our way. Now, what's this? I do not recognize this. guessing it's just going to be bugs in here, right? Now, that can be more dangerous than appears because could be blood bugs and annoying bloat flies. I don't recognise this place. I don't think I've ever been here. But, uh, we might as well strip it while we're here, at least. Something else is detecting me still, so I'm guessing there are still more bugs here yet. Oh, bloody hell. Right, yeah, you just <laughs> came out of nowhere. That was... Uh, Caught me off guard a little bit. Any more? That could be them outside. Looks like we should be alright. Is there a way to, to get on top? Or is there not a... There's a ramp. So it looks like there should be an up top. Or is that just a lean-to roof? No, it's a ramp. It's for sure a ramp. So it looks like there should be a way up. But I don't see an up. Can I get there from here? Yeah, okay. Anything up here? No, there's nothing up here anyway. Right, okay, fair enough. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, um, 
traveling traders and roaming traders and stuff like that might as well see if I can strip them of all their junk while I'm on the road because oh, not more blowflies leave me alone um uh oh yep I got too close to the uh to the train yard there forgot about that hopefully I can get in between the bloke fly and the ghouls without any trouble nope I'm guessing that's the bloke fly yeah okay we keep moving no okay he's caught us two of them as well see they just move so fast it's very annoying I think I was about to hit him there and I just cancelled out of it right are we hello can I loot some no okay you just want to disappear out of existence okay fair enough whatever I'm not too concerned by bloat fly it's just bloat fly meat um yeah roaming traders and things like that I might as well clear them out of the junk as I'm going along because we need junk we need stuff and who knows when they're going to appear again right I'm just gonna oh we're almost there now anyway so once we uh get into Tempine's Bluff we will tell them we are done we will finish the mission and then I think we will build up next time now I know that there's only two people there so again we're going to be under the tent so we're going to be junk fencing but uh yeah like I said was it last time or the time before? I'm not... Oh, and we have a trader. That's exactly what I was just talking about. Before you leave, let's talk to you, Lucas. Please, hello, Lucas. Hmm. Best way to spend your caps is protecting your hide with my armor. That advice is free. I don't really... Um, sure. Got plenty of stock. Care about the... Yeah, I don't really care about these because uh, eventually I'm going to be swapping them all out for the charisma stuff anyway. So, not really too concerned about buying his um, legendary stuff. I don't, I don't really need it because, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be changing it out for all of the... Um, charisma boosting stuff anyway um can i cloth leather steel might not be bad leather i don't really need because i've got a ton of leather um armor laying all around that i need to dismantle at some point but the steel might be all right I'm going to take the steel and a cloth and you can have something that I don't need. Well, I've got one pipe pistol and a pull cue. There we go. Spot on. Pretty handy. Pretty good. Okay, let's get this done. Hi. You find those raiders? I did indeed. It is all taken care of. Yeah, I took care of him. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want okay, I, I, I need to make it clear to you people, you are not joining the Minutemen. You, they may be telling you that you're joining the Minutemen, but you're not. You are joining the uh, colony of Massachusetts. So you are welcome. And there we go. We are all done. We can now claim the workshop as our own. And there we go. 
Now, this settlement is tiny. I mean, it's it's not. It's a decent size, but the thing is, is it's a lot of uneven ground. It's There's not a lot of stuff here. So places like this are going to be very difficult for trying to squeeze 40-odd people in. But um, we will get onto that a little bit more next time. This I am not too concerned about right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the episode here. Next time what we're going to do is we're going to get this place initially set up for all our little bits and pieces. And then we're going to head back, hand in the mission to Preston. He'll probably give me the next mission as well. And uh, then we can move on from there. So, yeah, hopefully after our little discussion at the beginning of the episode and hopefully after this little playthrough, you, uh, you are still enjoying this series. Uh, please do stick around if you are. If you are not, then feel free to head on your way and no hard feelings. But for those of you that are enjoying this playthrough and for those of you that are having a good time i certainly hope that you join me again next time but until then i want to bid you all adieu a good day and a massive gg to you all so if you like this video please check out our other content click on the video below please check out this playlist this is a rich tea entertainment production